um, uh, and we're going to cover that um, in later units in this topic. So for the fifth part of this unit on working with uh, the working with files, um, we're going to very briefly just touch on how you use Python to write data to a file. So, so far we've only concentrated on how you read data in from a file, but of course sometimes you need to go and write it as well. And the steps are very, very similar. You have to open the file, then you write to the file, and then you need to make sure it gets closed. Um, the main difference is that when you open the file, rather than passing it a, an R for read, you're going to pass it a, a W to write to the file. Uh, and that's going to overwrite any file that already exists there. So you're going to wipe out any file with the same name. So you want to be careful about choosing your file names at this point. Um, and it'll start overwriting it with your new data that you write. So the code to do this looks very similar to the code we're using to read. So um, I've just created a, a multi-line string, which is going to be the, the contents of the file I want to, uh, to save. And I have a with and then an open um, uh, the file name with a W for write, and as I've still called it my file is the variable I'm using. And in this case, I just do my file dot write and then write that file data. And the file dot write method is basically doing the opposite of file dot read. It takes the data you give it and it just shunts it all out to the file in one go. Um, and you can see that this does the opposite of the read because we here we're just doing the read, so I'm opening the file again, but for reading, uh, and uh, read all that data straight back in and show that the data I wrote and the data I read were identical, which is good. Um, if you don't want to overwrite the file um, that you're doing it, you can always go and pass it an A instead of a W for append. And in this case, if the file exists, then the data you end up writing to just gets tacked on the end of the file. It gets appended to the file uh, rather than overwriting it. Um, and you can also simultaneously read and write the file by sticking a plus after the letters. So you can have R plus or W plus or A plus. Um, uh, so that will let you um, uh, go and read and write. I mean, it gets a little bit more complicated because you have to make sure that you know where exactly in the file you're reading and where exactly in the file you're writing. And again, we'll discuss a bit later about how to know where you are inside a file. Um, as well as using um, the write, and actually there's an equivalent write lines method that basically just does the opposite of read lines. It writes a list of strings to a file. You can also use a regular print function. So in this case, what we're doing is, again, I'm opening that file for writing. Um, and I've got two print statements with that file open. And the only difference you see is I've added an extra keyword parameter to print. Remember, print is a function. I give it the keyword parameter, file equals, and then the variable name that I'm writing my file with. And that tells print, instead of printing it to the screen, to print it to a file instead. Uh, and so um, what I've done here then is I've then, after I've, I've finished the indent for the, the writing, that's the file closed, and so I reopen it for reading, and I show you of just reading back the, the files, the, the, the lines I wrote out. Um, note that unlike a write uh, and the write lines, using print takes care of the end of line characters for you, the new line markers for you. Um, uh, and that's um, uh, one of the conveniences of using a print over write. So if I did it with write, I'd have to remember to keep on tagging on um, a new line marker, which is a backslash n, and the same with right lines. More generally, uh, Python refers to anything which supports reading and writing uh, and some other key uh, methods, uh, all described as things that are like file-like objects, meaning this is something which works like a file works, um, even when they're not strictly files on your disk at all. So. That means, for example, you can write a function that will read or write data to a file or to a website URL um, or to um, a, a console with a human operator sitting there um, or indeed into some bit of memory in the, in the computer. 
uh, and it's all written exactly the same code because it's working with a file-like um, uh, uh, object. In other words, we're passing as a parameter into that function that is a file type or something that behaves like a file. And as far as Python's concerned, you'll just get on and do stuff with it. So this one, one of the things that make Python um, particularly well, in fact, many programming languages are particularly powerful is when you can um, abstract away the fact that whether it's actually a file on a disk or a, or it's a bit of memory or it's a thing on the internet um, doesn't make any difference. It just gets on and treats it all exactly the same. 